Hey guys, it's Rachel from Hope Corner Farm. By day, I'm a home ec teacher who teaches hundreds of students how to crochet, quilt, sew, and cook. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to complete the honeycomb stitch in crochet. The honeycomb stitch is a lovely textured crochet stitch. It works great in home decorating projects such as pillows. I've made some Christmas stockings with these lovely honeycomb stitches. As you can see, hopefully on camera, these are really nice and deeply textured, so they add some fun depth to your crochet projects. It's not a really hard crochet stitch to learn. You have to be able to chain single crochet and double crochet together. Um, to get technical, you're gonna double crochet five together. So if you can handle those stitches, you can handle the honeycomb stitch. So let's grab a hook and some yarn and we'll get crocheting. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notifications of when I post new videos, and don't forget to give me some feedback on this video. Give me a like or a comment, let me know what I did well or things that I could improve upon. So for the honeycomb stitch, you need multiples of three plus one extra stitch for the foundation chain. So when you're chaining, you need to add one extra chain. So I'm gonna do three honeycomb stitches here. So I have nine which is my multiple of three, plus one makes it 10, so I've chained 10. So I need nine to get three honeycomb stitches because you need three stitches for each honeycomb, and then you need one extra stitch to start. So I've got 10 here to start. So there are my 10 stitches. So each V counts as one stitch if you need to count your chain stitch, so I've got 10 here. So now the very first thing that I need to do is I need to place one single crochet in the second chain from my hook. So not this one right here, but this one right here is where I'm going. So I'm skipping over this chain, I'm going into this chain. I like to put my thumb right where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna insert my hook and I'm gonna put two strands or legs of that chain on the top of my hook and I'm gonna put one leg or one strand on the bottom. So each chain stitch has three pieces to it. So if you actually look at this, you can see one, two, three pieces to it. So when I say legs, I'm going in here and putting two of the three pieces of that chain on top and one on the bottom. I'm gonna place a single crochet in that stitch, and then I'm gonna place one single crochet in each stitch across, and that's the first row of this stitch. Now you could start this out with a foundation single crochet, and if you started out by foundation single crocheting, you would actually only have to use nine foundation single crochets. Um, that extra chain is just for that turn kind of that you go into that second chain. So again, if you want a foundation single crochet to start this, which you totally can, you would just need to do your multiples of three. So I'd do nine. So now I have nine single crochets here for my honeycomb stitch. Now I'm ready to go on to the second row of my honeycomb stitch. For the second row of the honeycomb stitch, I'm gonna start by chaining one and turning. Now I'm gonna place one single crochet in the first two stitches. So there's one single crochet, and then we're gonna go into the second one and place a second single crochet. So I have single crocheted two, so one, two. Now in this next single crochet, I am gonna double crochet five together here. So how do I do that? I yarn over, I go into the stitch, I yarn over, pull through the stitch. Now I've got three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. That's one double crochet. Yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch. Now I've got four loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two of those four loops. That leaves me with three loops on my hook. Now I've got two double crochets in that spot. Yarn over, go into the exact same spot, yarn over, pull through. Now I've got five loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through two loops. That's gonna leave me with four loops on my hook. Now I have three double crochets here in that same space. Yarn over, go into the same space, yarn over, pull through the space, now I've got six loops on my hook here. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through two of those loops, and I am left with five loops on my hook there. So now I have one, two, three, four double crochets. If you're curious about how many double crochets you have going on here, you just ignore this first loop, and each one of these remaining loops counts as a double crochet stitch that you have on there, so one, two, three, four. So I need to do one more. So I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna go into that space, I'm going to yarn over, 
pull through that space. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through two of those loops. So that leaves me with six loops now on my hook. And I've got my five double crochets there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna yarn over and I'm gonna pull through all of those loops and that is my double crochet five together. So I've got my base there, my cluster going on there. Now I'm gonna put one single crochet in each of the next two, sing or two stitches. So there's one, two single crochet stitches. Okay, now I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna double crochet five together in this next stitch. So yarn over, insert into the hook. Yarn over, pull through the hook. There's three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two of those loops. That leaves me with two loops on my hook. Yarn over, insert my hook into the space. Yarn over, pull through the space. Now I've got four loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now I'm left with three loops on my hook. Yarn over, insert my hook into the space. Yarn over, pull through the space. Now I've got five loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. That leaves me with four loops on my hook. Yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Now I've got six loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. That's gonna leave me with five loops on my hook. Yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Now I've got seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And now I'm left with six loops on my hook. So that's what it looks like there. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through all six loops to complete it. So now I'm gonna place one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, so one, and two. And then in the very last stitch, I'm actually going to double crochet five together in the very last single crochet. So yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now there's three loops on my hook. Yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch, Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Five loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. That leaves me with four loops on my hook. Yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Now I've got six loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now I've got five loops left on my hook. Yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. I've got seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two of those loops. Now I'm left with six loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all six loops. And that completes the second row of the honeycomb stitch. All right, for row three, we need to chain one and turn. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place one single crochet in each stitch across. So if you look at the top of this row, you can count each one of those Vs as one stitch. So you should have nine stitches. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine single crochets across here. So I've chained one and I've turned. I'm gonna place a single crochet here. I'm gonna put a single crochet here. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And that completes row three of the honeycomb stitch. For row four, we're gonna chain one and turn. Now in this very first stitch, we're gonna double crochet five together. So again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So you should have six loops on your hook here. Again, that may, may, makes five double crochets. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops. Now we're gonna put a single crochet stitch in the next two stitches. So one single crochet and two single crochets. Now we're gonna place a honeycomb stitch or a double crochet five together in this next stitch. So here's one, double crochet, two, whoops, two double crochets, 
three double crochets, four double crochets, five double crochets, and we're gonna put them all together. Now we're gonna do one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one and two. Now we're gonna double crochet five together. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and then yarn over and pull through all the loops to finish the stitch. So then to finish out the row, we're gonna place one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So here's one and two. And that will leave us with nine stitches still. It's a harder row again to count. So to count these, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches. So then to continue doing this, you're gonna just keep repeating row two through row five until you get it as tall as you want. So if you turn this over to the other side, you can see our honeycombs here. Notice that they are offset from each other. Um, and so that's why we have different rows where we go, we're alternating two and four have different placement of those clusters, alternating with a single crochet stitch. So what we would do for our next row here, we would chain one and turn, and we put one single crochet in each stitch across. And we have to make sure to maintain our stitch count. So again, I started with nine, and that's what I want each row to have is a total of nine stitches for the honeycomb stitch. So I would single crochet for this one here, and then I would go back and repeat row two for the very next row. So here I've got my single crochet row. So then the next row I would chain one, turn, and then I would put one single crochet in each of the first two stitches. And then I would double crochet five together in the next. And so I would just keep repeating rows two through five until you get this as tall as you want it to be. And that's the honeycomb stitch in crochet. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a blessed day.